All right, guys. I moved on to the floor for um, better viewing. But now that we got our case um, ready, it's time to fit our motherboard in. So move all these out of the way for now. We'll be dealing with those later. Go ahead and grab your case. And the way you know which way it fits in your case, you're going to want to go ahead and line where you at. You're going to want to go ahead and line those parts up to the piece we just fitted. So mine's going to go in, let's see, it's going to go in this way. So it might be a tight squeeze, so. And I usually just hold it by the uh, CPU fan. So go ahead and line all your ports up. Now that we are lined up, we want to go ahead and grab a screwdriver from our kit. And grab the screws that came with your case. These are for your motherboard right here. And now you just get screwing one by one. All right guys, the next thing, um, once you got your motherboard mounted, is you wanna install your case fan, which is gonna go in something that looks just like your CPU fan. Um, you wanna install your, these are optional USB ports I got. You might not even have these, but if they do, then you wanna hook those up to your motherboard. You want to hook up your um, integrated audio if you have that. And you want to hook up your LED lights and your power to turn on and off your motherboard. Alright guys, I was just editing my video and there's one thing I failed to mention. When hooking up all of the wires or any wires directly to your motherboard, there's a certain way you have to configure how the wires plug in. Now all of the labels, if you look very closely on every place you plug in, every piece on your motherboard has a label that's labeled, um, it's labeled like something like panel number one in small white letters. And there's also on your wires, there's also labels on every single wire that you have to plug into your motherboard. Now, how exactly you plug those wires into your motherboard is you look on your motherboard for what component this is. Then you look on your wires for what label is on your wires. And then you look in your motherboard manual. You can see that these connections, such as it's going to say panel number one, F audio, and all of those on your motherboard. And this is how you put the wires in. Those are going to be the labels on your wires. So it's going to be different for every single motherboard, but just remember that your motherboard is labeled, your wires are going to be labeled, and this book that came with your motherboard is going to show you how to put the wires together. So that's how you do that. Uh, I'll let you get back to my tutorials.